So, you made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Name yourselves! I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief! I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firene, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene? That's right! Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? <laughs> I... <laughs> I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? Uh, I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene! I'm begging you, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It's all right. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Alcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so. How's it going, Prince Alcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, uh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time, and all we encountered were bizarre creatures or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine One, Brodia's standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alcrest. I will. I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alcrest. You had no way of knowing who they were. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? This is the Kingdom of Warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test, hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being... less dazzling? I find it... Uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh... All right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine One, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Eve said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect, but I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. 
You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion? It has a red stone and a certain... gallant aura. Diamant, the Crown Prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the Ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The king adores him, as do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers! They're occupying the bridge! No! Finally! It took you long enough! Very rude to keep a princess waiting! Very rude indeed! Princess? That would be me! The second princess of Illusia, Hortensia! Now then, hello everybody! Illusia's second princess? Right. Ooh, I knew it! I can totally tell. You're the prettiest. It's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only divine dragon. You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. Wow! Those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. Don't come any closer! You wicked illusions aren't worthy to approach the Divine Dragon. <gasps> Nobody asked you, Brodian. Besides, we're not the wicked ones. You are. <sighs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst. Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people. We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The crown princess? She's going to attack Brodia Castle? Oops. Probably shouldn't have said that. We must go right away. Ha! <laughs> As if I'd let you pass. My father's gonna be so proud of me. All illusion soldiers, forward march! Get me those rings! Marth, understood. Micaiah, here I go. We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. 
so brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. Huh? <laughs> oh, Alcris, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on! Citrine! You should also be in the back! Ah, uh, you too. Looks like it's starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh! The Divine Dragon is absolutely... <sighs> absolutely not as cute as we are? Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. Prince Alchrist, Citrine, stay back. I'll handle this. I can knock down anyone who stands in our way. My will is firm. I hope this is enough. Ah! I, I'm sorry. This isn't so bad. Here goes. I'll take this! Without my summoning her. Look at your face! You silly. 
Really, Divine Dragon? Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool trick, huh? I'm so glad I'm able to use it. And it's all thanks to Lord Sombra powering up this ring. It's called the Ring of the Princess Exalt. Cute, am I right? That's one of the rings my mother was protecting. Give it back! Yeah, not gonna happen. It's Illusia's ring now. But if you really want to see it one last time... Come a little closer. I'll give you a good long look. Emblem is a formidable foe. Nearby enemies can join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. the rest it deserves. <laughs> what a joyous feeling! You're too kind to me.
Like I broke them. Emblem, engage. This love is a crime? Say your goodbyes! I hope you find peace. I have no choice. Gold! Apologies. Hey, 
pace. Me too. Care to join me? My hero! That's a big help. I'll apologize later. Yeah. <laughs> 
Your lucky day, cutie. You get to fight me. I'll take this. Treat. I'll take this. <sighs> Pretty weak. are yours.
I'm going to ask you nicely. Please die. Turn the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings. We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn? I'll take this! <laughs> this should do it! Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I lost. No fair! I lost? Well, you're not getting my ring! I won't let father down! They fled in a hurry. Hmm. There's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle. The rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Firne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Firne, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. Oh my!
right. Indeed. Oh, wow! Ooh! Consider this! Oh dear. Okay. Thank you. And I think about what you said to me, all those long years ago. Where are you, brother? Welcome. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Do come again. I'm sorry. Well, hey there. Take care. Listen.
Take a look at that, Louis. Isn't it lovely how that couple shares a meal together? The girl hand feeds the boy, and then the boy returns the gesture. So intimate. Like a prince and princess from my fairy tales. It's quite a sight. One imagines the sort of lives they lead, how they met, and so forth. It's an interesting change of pace to observe your favorite scenes now and then. <sighs> Uh-oh. For someone who just said it's interesting, you don't sound so invested. I'm sorry. There is something I feel is lacking after all, it seems. <laughs> and what would that be? I'm not certain, but I suspect what's missing is... you. Me? How so? Everyone adores you, Chloe. You're perpetually surrounded by friends. The closeness you show with those friends... There's nothing quite like it. The sight of it fills me with such joy that I would hold it in my mind forever if I could. The drawback, it seems, is that scenes without you in them lose their luster. I can tell you mean that as a compliment, so... Thanks, Louie. But I'd be careful who I said that to. I know where you're coming from with that hobby of yours, but other people... It takes a lot of explanation before people will understand. Not all of them have the patience. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. We should probably get going. That couple we stared at is starting to stare back. Yes, perhaps it's time for us to withdraw. Shall we see what else we can see? Oh, it's just not sinking in. Hello, Jean. You appear to be hard at work with your studies. Princess Celine. I've read this chapter over and over, and I'm just not getting it. My brain is too tired. I know what you need. Here. Is that smell my hometown tea? It is indeed. I saw you struggling with your studies and judged that you were in need of a break. Wow. Thanks, Princess Celine. Hmm, this smell. It's so relaxing. It reminds me a lot of home. Now, Jean, you mentioned once that you didn't believe tea could save lives. But I say to you, that your hometown tea has saved me too many times to count. Tea saved you? When things aren't going well and I'm in low spirits, that's a sign that it's tea time. A hot cup of tea in these situations does much to lift my mood. Things tend to go better afterward, even if it's only because I've cleared my head. When the problems I'm dealing with are severe, is it an exaggeration to say that tea saves me? No. I suppose it isn't. In fact, my own spirits feel pretty lifted now. Thank you, Princess Celine. I learned something valuable today, and it wasn't from this book. I guess, medically speaking, I can't count out the healing power of tea. Sorry about that. You have nothing to apologize for. I'm relieved to hear your mood has improved. When I get home and see my mother, I'm going to tell her that our tea is the best in the world. If she doubts you, I shall visit in person to inform her that her tea always brings me joy. Actually, if it's okay with your highness, could we have our tea time now? Drinking tea alone's no fun. And besides, I want to talk to your highness a little more. I'll get right back to studying when we're done, of course. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. To be honest, I was in the mood for some tea as well. I apologize for speaking out of turn. Well then. Shall we retire to the tea room? There's so much more about tea to discuss. Lead the way! <laughs> Ooh!
Hi there. Will be just like mixing medicine. Okay, so if I add these two together, looks good. I think you'll really like this. This may rival the cooking from my manor back home. Mm, I love this flavor. I set aside a little for you as well. Here you go. It's me, the Brodian Prince who isn't Diamant. I am Etier, a royal knight of Firene. I really thought I had you. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? Citrine, a daughter of Brodian nobility. Today's workout begins now. Oh my, I'm still so weak. A royal soldier of Brodia. I'm leftover scraps compared to Diamant. But I must try. I wasn't strong enough. It will take some work. Thank you. The ring looks amazing. I hope you'll clean it well. Thanks for always taking such good care of the ring. Handle that gently. I appreciate your upkeep of the ring. This ring is filthy. You made quick work of that. What a view! Like something out of a dream. I came here to wake you up, and I didn't even bring breakfast. How thoughtless of me. 
Maybe I have some snacks. Let's see. Hmm, I guess this folk food will have to do. Hey, Divine One, what would you say to an interesting breakfast? We've got fried fish heads, offal, and... No? Are you sure? I vow to protect you, Lapis. Prince Alchrist? What are you talking about? You kept me safe during battle the other day. Of course I did. I'm your retainer. It's my duty to keep you safe. Yes, but I don't deserve it. I'm useless, but your character and skills have real value. That's why, from now on, I vow to protect you in battle, Lapis. What? But then, I suppose those words are hollow coming from someone as unreliable as me. That makes three. What? This is the third time you vowed to protect me like this, Prince Alchrist. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I do recall saying it just after we met, and then again at the Grand Crossing, if I'm recalling correctly. That's right. Hearing you say those words, it made me... <sighs> Please stop trying to switch our duties like this. I'm just a retainer. You're a prince. I... I'm sorry. I'm just being honest about how I see things. No, I know that. But I don't think many retainers would be okay with their master taking a hit for them. I... apologize. Oh, please don't take it hard. I know how you meant it. I appreciate the thought, okay? Yes, of course. a bit better than yesterday, but still far from acceptable. Citrine? What are you doing up so late? Ah! Oh, Lapis! You frightened me! If you must know, I was just... brushing up on my ballroom dancing. Hmm. You're not a very good liar. I could see you using magic. Are you training in secret? You found me out. Working this late can't be good for your health. You should really get some sleep soon. I appreciate your concern, Lapis, but I can't let myself rest. You can't? If I had your strength, I might not have to train myself well into the small hours of the night. But things are different for me. I must, must, must grow stronger. Oh, Citrine, that's... Don't stay up for my sake. I promise to rest as well, but only after I've done enough for tonight. <sighs> Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Good night. Good night, Lapis.
Be well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my! I'm sorry. Amazing! Amazing! To find one, watch out! There's a wolf! What? Where? Mr. Wolf, please go away. Leave the Divine Dragon alone, I beg you! <sighs> it isn't listening to me. No choice. I'll have to get serious. That pose... Is he about to... bow an apology like the incident at the border? Mr. Wolf, I'm so, so sorry! I'm sure that my apologies will enrage you further, to the point you might devour me! And if I wind up in your stomach, my allies may waste days looking for me! But I must persist. Please, though I have no right to make this request, I ask you to go home! I'm begging you! The wolf is actually turning away. Incredible. <sighs> there it goes. Thank goodness you're alright, Divine One. Thank you, Alchrist. I'm glad you're okay, too. That was a risky move. Think nothing of it. Your life is worth far more than mine, so I just did what needed to be done. Uh, no. My life, your life, everyone's lives. None of us are above anyone else. <sighs> you're right, Divine One. <sighs> Looks like I've fallen short yet again. The Divine Dragon's radiance should lighten my mood. But I've managed to darken it instead. I sincerely apologize. I I should leave. But what? Alchris, wait! Wow. He's so fast. Excuse me, Divine One. I wanted to thank you for aiding me in battle the other day. If it's not inappropriate, I would like to find a gift for you to fully express my gratitude. A gift? That isn't necessary, Citrine. I only did what anyone would have done. <laughs> oh, Divine One, you're too modest. Ah, a gift idea has just come to me. An acquaintance of the Brodian royal family is looking to sell their private island, at cost. What would you say to your own private island getaway? My treat, of course. An entire island? That's really not... Not enough. I agree. Shall I add some of my antique jewelry? It's just a few generations old. No. Citrine, I don't need expensive gifts. Really? Then... What sort of gift would you be more inclined to accept? Well, if I can't talk you out of it, to be honest, 
I would prefer the kind of gift that money can't buy. Something that money cannot buy. No private islands, no jewelry. I value gifts that aren't defined by how much they cost. That's the best kind of gift a person can receive. Do you understand? I see. Let me just think on this for a while. Farewell for now, Divine One. in a place like this. Hey, Yunaka. You, uh, settling in okay? Absolutely. Everyone's been a tasty treat. If anything, the welcome's been almost a little too warm, you know? I'm an unknown quantity. I could be anybody. What if I was a somebody? Who would know? It's weirdly convenient no one's been checking on me to try to find out. Oh, should I be snooping more? Seems like a logical course of action, that's all I'm saying. Well, I do want to get to know you better. So, yeah, we should talk more, when we get the time. Talk? Is that your idea of gathering intel? Are you really gonna go that easy on me? Think about it, chum. I could be an enemy spy. Eh, probably not, though. I trust you. Forsooth, silly lad. Whence comes this unearned confidence? Have you never once been betrayed, swindled, double-crossed, bamboozled? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Gets that question a lot, he says. Not a bit of self-awareness on this guy. I don't get you, Alfred. But maybe I shouldn't look this gift knife in the serrated bevel. If you trust me, I appreciate it. Thanks. Anytime, Yunaka. Why, hello, Chloe. Fancy meeting you here. Hi there, Citrine. I'm just here picking up some lunch. You can only get it at this street stall, but the taste is worth the trip. It's my favorite. Really? If it's as delicious as you say, I'd like to try some for myself. Here, I'll treat you. Excuse me, sir. I'll take everything you have, please. The whole stock? Don't fret about the money. This way, if we have extra, we can share with the others. Thank you for wrapping all of that, sir. Here's a little more gold for your trouble. Huh? Are these? It's folk food. Salt pickled fish guts in this case. Oh, how, uh, charming. Oh, sorry. I love this stuff, but it might be too much for you to handle. No, no. One mustn't show prejudice toward food without trying it first. Here, Chloe, your portion. Wow, you're letting me have almost all of it. Thank you so much! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Must be important. You look pretty serious all of a sudden. It is important. Well, to me it is. Take care. Will do. And thanks for treating me to a heaping helping of my favorite folk food. Hey, Lapis. Got a minute? Sure, Etie. What do you need? They tell me you can build whatever you want. Is that true? What? How did you hear that? I mean, I guess it's true. With the right materials, I can make all kinds of stuff. Furniture, toys. I even made some instruments for a local concert once. That was really fun. That's amazing. Listen, I need a favor. Would you build me a muscle training device? Like, workout equipment? Wow, I've definitely never built anything like that before. For me, bodybuilding is life. I've tried lots of training methods, but it's getting harder to achieve my goals on my own. Oh, sure. I hate hitting that plateau where you feel like you're not making any progress. Exactly what I'm saying. I knew you'd get it. Which muscles do you want to focus on? Hmm. My arms, chest, core, and my back. That's all I'm looking for. I'd repay you, of course. Anything you want. Think you could do this for me? Yeah. It'll be a challenge, but a fun one. I'll see what I can put together. Great! Oh, this is going to be incredible. <laughs> 